episode, I'm going to continue off of episode 142 and work with our API. Now, there's several reasons why you would want to create an API. One reason is that you might want to create an open API so that your end users can interact with your applications through development of their own applications. Another reason is that you might have an API-only application, and its purpose will be to serve the business logic and the data for a front-end application. And that can be written in Vue, Angular, React, or one of the other many JavaScript frameworks. But another reason why you might have an API is to create mobile applications. So even if you have your own standalone Rails application, which is serving the main content, you may want to create a native application, and you need to connect back to your main application for several reasons. For the authentication and authorization, to retrieve data to display within the native mobile application, and several other reasons. So in this episode, we're going to look at creating an iOS application with Swift to authenticate into our Rails API. And so just to demo, we have our Rails application up and running, and we're listening on the localhost port 3000. Within our iOS application, we have a place where we can enter a username and a password, and a button to log in. When we go to log in, in our Rails logs, we can see that the post to authenticate occurred, and we get a successful response. And in this episode, I'm not going to worry about doing any kind of error handling because that's going to be all native on the Swift side. However, the main illustration here is to authenticate a iOS application to a Rails API application. So if we were to pass in an improper password, you can see that the post to authenticate returned an unauthorized attempt, and then you would display whatever appropriate error message within the iOS application. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.